What's going on H2O Army? Justin from H2O Plants and today we're going to be taking a look at what we did in France when we went to look at three different fish stores, one being owned by a world championship aquascaper. So stay tuned to check that out. What's up guys? We are here in Paris, France and we're at Le Aquarium. I'm going to take you guys on the inside and show you around. It's a pretty cool store. So let's go look. What is going on guys? All right, so let's jump into this. As soon as we get in here, they have a beautiful goldfish display. My only concern is you could see these bowls on top which have goldfish in them. I don't know if that water was circulating through the bottom tanks. I hope it was. Uh, my only gripe with that is if it was really just to display the goldfish with no filtration running through it. My concern is that people coming into the store and, and wanting to get into the hobby may think, oh, I could keep a goldfish in that tank or in that size bowl. <clears throat> and that might not necessarily be the case. So uh, I'm, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they most likely have that running through the central filtration. Unfortunately, there is a language barrier. Not many. Well, there are several people that spoke English in France, but uh, the owners were very... Um, not very versed in English, so uh, it was a difficult trying to ask them questions and whatnot. So I just kind of went about, looked at stuff, uh, saw some cool things. As you can see, we're looking at some beautiful discus right now. They also had some beautiful angelfish. And this store, I like the way they have it set up with like these different color backdrops. It's all kind of uniformed, but not. It looks really cool. And it, it would, it's nice to see something other than just like tanks thrown together to hold fish. Like, while well, yeah, they are relatively bare. I do like to see some sort of creativity uh, in, behind this and I think they did a really good job. I believe I met the owner there and th there you see some coolie loaches and Congo tetras. Absolutely love coolie uh, loaches but unfortunately I, mine died a while back that I had. So now we get into like the planted tanks that they had. So they had this beautiful display of I believe those are cardinals. They may be neons. Uh, it's difficult to go back and look. Some tiger barbs, angelfish, some rainbow sharks, or um, not rainbow sharks, what are, is it rainbow sharks? I don't remember. It's uh, some sort of uh, shark type fish there, uh, some mollies. Overall, this store had a very well-versed selection. As you can see here, here's their planted side, and like this is like their main display for all their plants, and absolutely beautiful. They had Tropica brand. Uh, some of them were really pricey. I was surprised to see some of the plants that high, and, and I'm saying high because if you convert, like, you're looking at 22 uh, euros to US, that's like, I think, like, closer to $30, so that's insane. At, at least from what I'm reading, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure somebody out there is going to be like, no, you're missing the decimal somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, so just absolutely beautiful plants, though. I really enjoyed their setup. I like this whole, like, uh, waterfall step down thing. They had more on this side. It's similar to the goldfish setup, but very nice displays. This was actually somewhat of a theme that I saw throughout Paris, and it's probably a theme throughout Europe and, and all, all these other countries out there. Uh, they have these kind of step down tanks, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, here's a, I think it, this was a shrimp tank, I want to say. There was some shrimp in there, maybe some Corydoras. Just some really cool stuff. If you guys see, oh, here's a beautiful plant, Polysperma Hygro, or no, Sunset Hygrophilia Polysperma. Illegal here in the States as far as shipping uh, across state borders, borders. If you have it, you can keep it. You just can't, you know, sell it. So I actually got lucky. I have a stem of it that I got from uh, somebody from the local fish club, and I got some. And, uh... Yeah, so there was an oxalotl tank. Uh, really cool to see oxalotls a lot because here in the States from the majority of the fish stores I've been to, they haven't really been on display like that. Very, very rare you'll see stuff like that. Uh, a, 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 like, not your regular store. It really has to be an all aquatic specialty store to find uh, axolotls from, at least in my area. There were some auto sync lists. These, I, I don't know what kind of Tetras these were, or at least I think they're Tetras. They were really cool looking. They reminded me somewhat of a Congo Tetra, but not quite. Also, what I have to commend this store on is how they kept their beta fish. I absolutely love seeing this. The beta fish were in each tank, but separated with a breeder net, which, while well, yeah, it's a small space, at least they have a volume of water that is ideal for keeping them 
um, you know, in, in good parameters and also uh, circulation and all that. It was really nice to see it as well as being heated. In this tank, I wasn't sure what was there. Those kind of look like knife fish, maybe. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. They look like there was fish buried under there. I don't think there were coolie loaches, though. Uh, I could be wrong. All the names were in French, so it was really difficult to figure it out. What's going on, guys? We are now out front of another fish store, Paramount Aquarium in Paris, another one. I wanted to take a look at it, so let's go inside and I'll show you. Alrighty, so the last store that we just got done looking at was all fresh water. So this actually has some good saltwater stuff and some plants, as you can see here, a display tank that's kind of hidden. I actually didn't re even realize it was there until I started recording it and then I was like, oh shoot, there's a tank right there. So they have goldfish, they have beta fish here. Like I said, the previous store had them really nicely. This still isn't terrible. Uh, there's some smaller containers there. I'm not sure how far they go back. Then they have a plant selection that's down low, but they seem they probably just uh, didn't have a shipment yet, and they probably sold out a lot of their plants because, as you can see, it's very very empty. But they did have a variety, and there was this crypt that I really wanted to buy. This cryptocorn, forget the exact name, but transporting it back to the United States probably would have given me a headache through customs. But I really want it. It's right there. It's that little red one that uh, was right there in the middle of the screen. Absolutely phenomenal. It wasn't Crypt Flamingo. It's like a tiger striped Crypt. It's really cool. And uh, I, I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want the hassle of going through customs with it because I already knew they probably would have given me a hassle about it. But overall, so right here in their main kind of walk-in area, as soon as you walk in, you have a lot of common uh, community fish and as you can see here you, they use these under gravel filters or at least I think it's under gravel I have to assume so it's really cool how they have it like raised up with glass it's just it's interesting to see new things in the hobby that you don't necessarily see because here in the US uh, we're in my opinion and everybody that I've spoken to that has been overseas to like Germany and Japan and all these other countries that have a whole type of aquatic hobby like that's really thriving out there they have told me that we're years behind them so it's so good to see like different things and get experience in it because this is the first time at one i've ever been outside of the country and two that i've been in the uh, aquarium hobby that i actually you know kind of went to these places to look at so it was really interesting so uh getting back here just some angel fish some really nice ones. Uh, there, I saw Altums. I don't know if they were in this shop. I can't remember. There, there was a uh, Altum Angels actually in the next store we go to. I believe they're Altums anyway. Uh, but th I, there's probably a couple Altum Angels in here, which was really cool to see. Uh, you don't quite see them quite often here in the United States. And some big discus. These guys were huge. I'm telling you, like bigger than my fist. And then I, I raised the camera. They actually had three levels, and it really went up really high. So I am holding the camera right now with one hand uh, just to try and get a shot. And I, I think that's some sort of, par um, is it parrot fish? Maybe? I'm not a fish expert. I'm not even a plant expert. I, I know I know enough to grow some plants, but uh, I definitely don't know. Oh, there's that crypt. That is the same as that crypt that I saw in the tank that I wanted to buy. Uh, it was really nice looking. And it's not a Wendy or anything like that. It's something that I've never seen before. It was really cool. So then they have uh, salt water over here. Some, uh, I forget the... Uh, what those shrimp are called but they're the cleaner shrimp some other saltwater fish a couple of them were empty not a whole lot to see there but then they had some coral and some anemones uh tanks over this way which was really cool i i appreciate coral it's actually something that <laughs> it's been really getting the uh getting my eye whenever i go into the fish stores it's like oh man that coral is so beautiful uh to the point where i was actually just at my local fish store a couple days ago and they had this pretty much set up, ready to go reef tank. It was a nano reef for 500 bucks. Uh, maybe it was like a 15 gallon tank or 20 gallon tank. And I was about to buy the whole thing because it escaped, had the fish, had the corals, everything was thriving. I was like, ooh, I should totally do this. But one, I don't have an RO unit set up and I don't feel like buying RO water. And uh, it just, I'm not ready for it. If I dive into salt water and, and start playing around, I really want to make sure that I have it set up properly, have a space for it and have uh, the proper <clears throat> proper RO unit. So then just some more community fish. Uh, this store was actually quite large. The other store was a, a little on the small side, but they did have a decent amount. I, I really uh, appreciated it. This was the biggest store that I went to out of all of them. I went to other stores, but they weren't letting me film. So it kind of sucks. Uh, but these guys were nice enough. I asked. I, I, I always like to ask. I don't want to film things you know some people are 
I don't know. They, they're weird about that. But um, these guys were cool. Everybody here I asked. I was like, hey, you know, mind if I uh, do a YouTube video here? And these, I think, are leather corals. I'm not, like I said, I don't know much about corals. I think there, there were some le leather corals there and some polyp corals. I, I, I really don't know a whole lot about corals just yet. I know a little bit. And then this was really interesting to me. I really like this display here. Uh, I think that's a puffer fish, and then um, I, I, I don't know what other type of fish. But then they had a refugium down low, and then they show it's kind of just all open. You can see the filtration, and you know it's like <laughs> it's watching. It's like looking at like a, a brand new sports car. Like you see all the um, pipes and all that. It's really cool. So I just think it's it's cool to look at. Uh, and then here, what was really interesting is the the tank slanted out here at the top, which is really cool and interesting. You don't see that, at least I've never seen that. So I thought it was really neat to see. And uh, yeah, and then they have another area here that we're in the back now, and they had cherry shrimp, some other types of shrimp, or at least I think they're cherry shrimp. They, they could be uh, some other sort of species of uh, red shrimp. And then what are these guys? These oh, I can't make them out there. Maybe some tetras. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 these are the cichlids, that's right. So you see some cichlids here, uh, some java ferns chilling there. And then those, I th those are cichlids as well. The back area was actually quite large. There were several, as you can see, several little rows here. So I kind of just took a, a brief look by. But these, these are pretty much, from what I saw, most of the stuff that you could regularly see in most fish stores, at least here in the United States, there's some big discus again. These guys had huge discus I, I tell you probably some of the biggest i've ever seen in person so they, they were really big i'm surprised because a lot of times the stores they'll have like the small like half dollar size maybe slightly bigger and then they'll have like a little bit larger here but they never like i've never seen anything like fully grown like that and then here's some uh, nice epistos i forget which species that is maybe the uh, what are they the fire reds or something like that or the uh what are they the orange something like, like that I forget the name of it and then these are more like cichlid type fish I wish I knew more more fish names but you know like I said they were all in French so it was hard to uh, figure them out and there's some axolotls axolotls seem to be big in uh, Paris or at least overseas maybe it's a it's a big thing over there which are cool hey gotta give some axolotl love then yeah that's it for that side and then we get over here and there's more cichlids this is primarily a whole bunch of cichlids but we're gonna get up to one of my um fish that i will be keeping very soon that i'm excited about at least those are the plans right now the plans can always change but uh the next kind of small nano size tank that i set up is going to be with this fish i'm very excited for it i just i, I need probably a couple more weeks and here they are swell the shell dwellers uh can't quite see any there's one right there just chilling i don't know like i said in french so i don't know which species all these are uh, but the ones that i'm going to be going for are the multi fasciinatus and you probably if you're familiar and watch a lot of videos on youtube joey the king of D diy uh set up a tank not too long ago with them and also rachel o'leary has i believe launched uh, put a video up uh, uh, regarding them as well and actually when i went to rachel's house she had some which were absolutely phenomenal unfortunately the babies weren't ready yet i don't know if i'm going to be getting them from her or my local fish store but I will be getting some in the near future if the tank that I want to set up uh, goes to plan. And I think that was it right there, that tiny fish. That might be a multi fashionatus or these guys, although these guys are a little bit bigger. So they're, they're all really cool. I, I love these fish. They're so interesting. After seeing Joey's video and seeing how interesting they are, I had to go check them out in person. Went to my local fish store. Absolutely phenomenal. Love them. And then just uh, some more cichlids here. What's going on guys? We are outside Aqua Designer here in Paris, another store. We're going to take a look inside. This one is by far one of the nicest ones I've seen. Alrighty, so this store is owned by a world championship aquascaper. He won the championship in 2014, the IACLP or whatever it's called, uh, International Aquascaping Competition, I think it is. But absolutely phenomenal. This is his little shop. Now this shop is so tiny, but oh my god, it packs everything in there neatly and organized. Here's some. Here's the Ultim Angels I was talking about. At least I think they're Ultims. They look like them. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal. This tank it just blew me away. I'm like, wow, it's gorgeous. And there's Margaret. She's blowing a kiss to you. Um, and then they had uh, this tank over here with some uh, shrimp, some black and white shrimp you could see there, and just overgrown with moss. 
this is, I think, something that they're getting ready to do there with some petrified wood and some more uh, small. They're just really tiny, rimless tanks. Like this is an aquascaper's paradise right here. So uh, I can I can believe why this guy um, won the 2014 championship. And I'm not gonna butcher his name, but I'll throw it on the screen and also link it in the description so you guys can check out his award-winning tank. Uh, but absolutely phenomenal. And you can see he probably has enough stuff here to really practice and, and develop all the different things that he did for that tank. So it's really cool. I didn't even know he owned this shop until I went there and like I'm like, oh this this is really nice. And the guy's like, oh yeah, we won the 2014 uh, champion. I'm like, wow, I did not know that. <laughs> so then here's like they're really just their only retail space other than the front. And you can see here some potted plants. I believe these were Tropica as well. It seems to be the ongoing thing. And then they just had packages of tissue cultures and moss and it was just truly beautiful. Absolutely love this shop. And then they have two more display tanks which we're going to take a look at. But guys, thank you again for watching the video. And there, uh, there's going to be an outro here in just a moment. So I will see you later. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of the fish stores, which one was your favorite, as well as hitting that like button and subscribing here if you're new. We upload content every week as well as live stream on Wednesday, so be sure to check those out. Also, in the month of October when this video is going live, I wanted to let you guys know that we're doing a 15% off our entire website. So be sure to head on over there, check it out, get yourself some cool plants or fertilizer or anything else at a, at a good discount. And with that said, guys, I will see you next time. Oh, you big doggy. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, you want to be in the video? Oh, no, the other one wants to be in the video. Are you done yet? Can I put you down? Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. That's my face. Okay, time to get down. There you go.